snacks are on? I did. Okay, so snacks are on lock. Are they in reach? They are not in reach. <laughs> Be okay. right back. Hold that's on. okay. That's why we're both here. I needed you on Monday because I forgot something. And I was like, I need a co-host because I can't yes. walk away. I actually hate leaving my screen blank too, like when I'm live. Right. Right. Like, there could be no dead air on there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was, I was like. No, I can't do that because it's illegal. It's <laughs> illegal. So, sure. It's illegal. Okay, can you see our table? A little bit. It's all good. Sort of. Okay, so we're advertising the Safeway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Safeway. None of hey these guys. products are from Safeway either. <laughs> right. Uh, Megan said, hi, bye. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Hi, stay. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hi, what the heck? Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> stay with us. Oh, yeah, it's been two weeks. It's been too long. Too long. Two weeks too long. It has. I've missed you. We have a lot of headspace. I'm going to bring us down a bit. Okay. What did you do for the last two weeks, Tiff? Oh, you know. <laughs> Aunt Flo came to visit, so it was oh, a terrible me. week last week. I, I feel you. I just worked my business, did a lot of photo shoots with my sister, and that's it. Yeah. Cleaned my house, you guys. I got organized, and I'm really happy about it. it sounds like you did a lot. Yeah, kind of. Maybe sometimes that's why we feel like garbage, because we do too much. It is. Ugh. Pausing is hard. I think you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I force myself to pause every Saturday, but... It is hard. It's definitely hard to get back into the routine once you've paused, too. Oh, I'm sure. So. How was your mission strip? It was good. It definitely wasn't restful, but it was very good. It was so needed. What was, like, one highlight of your trip? That's what people asked on Monday, and I couldn't really think of the best. I think, okay, I think it was there are two students who are so quiet. Like, the quietest people you'll ever Aww. meet. And by the end of it, they had us all cracking up and like literally dying laughing Aww. like it was it's just such a good trip for us to connect with some of these students and they've all been locked up for a year so it's like they get to actually like come out of their shell and yeah. like really bond with you for the whole week yeah you get car rides together and all this stuff so it was it was Aww, really I really good it. i know yeah that was that was definitely a highlight for me um what are the peeps received my mystery box today whoop Okay, oh, yeah, uh, I saw those. and Go Tiffany's out. dressed super cute today. Woo, it's spring. <laughs> what is this getup you're wearing? <laughs> is that what they asked or is that what no, you asked? <laughs> that's what I'm, I just wanted to call it out. I was looking and I was like, you look so cute you're with funny. your romper. So I forgot what I named this. I think this is like island time, but this is from my boutique. It's Two Wild Roses Boutique, TWL. And we just got this curvy romper in, you guys. I love it. As a curvy woman, I have a really hard time. We just talked about this. Finding rompers that fit well. And this is her. And I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. So tell us, are you guys dre like dress up, dressy, cute, spring wearing gals? Or are you more like me who wears like sweats and <laughs> <laughs> t-shirts? You're just a jeans and a t-shirt girl. Always. And that's okay. Or comfortable. Just And rompers are actually comfortable, but the pattern, like, I feel so girly sometimes in dresses and rompers that are florally. I love the idea of them, and Dustin loves them, and I'm just like, I feel like a girl. This is like day day. I'm feeling just bossy today. Like, it's spring, the sunshine. But this is not every day. I would wear this to church. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe have one more little, <laughs> little, little button. The church but, button. Yeah, the church <laughs> button. Absolutely, but I yeah. love it. I bought the Eeyore top on your, uh, but it's, oh, thought that was Eeyore, but it's Dumbo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that up there? Right? Hey, Sam. Do you want comments or do you want? You do comments. Okay. I'll do crafting. So we're going to craft today and uh, you grabbed the finished product of what we're making. It's so cute. So we are going to make no sew fabric koozies. It's a new, a new technique I just made up today. I'm so excited. So how is this different than the ones we made last time? That was with HTV and vinyl. This is going to be with fabric. 
Ooh. Yeah, so I, I have a tutorial on how to sew one. This is so cute. I know, and it's a koozie. So you can see that, you can feel the difference. You can see the difference. And then obviously- Oh, this is like thicker. Yeah. Like way thicker. And when we make them, you'll see the difference too. Oh you'll, you'll be like, oh, there's a lot different steps in this. And then we're also going to no glue bling our strata tops. Finally, I get to use the I know. bling. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this right? moment. So pick a cup, any cup. Yay, oh my gosh, I'm so I excited. tried, um, this is also a cup available. I tried another fabric, no so koozie, and it works, but it's just kind of flimsy. So it oh works. Gosh, too, I but. don't even know. They're all so good. You guys help me. Purple. There's like this salmon color, peach black black will match everything right lavender sky Perry blue Winkle? sky blue there I, is a very wrinkle purple i don't know <laughs> it's purple no that's sky blue tell me i'm wrong look at the sky look at against your wall right here uh, yeah it's sky blue depending on where i guess it's sky blue maybe because it was by the purple maybe Maybe not. Yeah, it's blue. I think it's blue. I think you're right. I think you're right. I would say this is more like, well, I guess periwinkle is blue and purple mixed together. Carrie says lavender. I love the lavender one and the black one. Lavender, coral, lavender, coral, salmon, coral. I want the coral one. Okay, you do coral. This one? No. no. Can this you do one. that one? Okay. Um, I'll do this. This is beautiful so for spring. Cute. Oh, there's so many good ones. These are fun. Right? And the lame thing is we're making koozies, so you don't need more than one cup. But you can always have more than one cup. So these are from the 16-pack on my Amazon store. You get all these colors these if you buy fun. the 16-pack. Okay. So we're using a fun product called Double Sandwich Sticky by Diamond like Dots. boobs. <laughs> Those look like boobies. <laughs> you can't see it. Can you see it? There's like holes in the middle. I feel like those are like. Get your mind out of the gut of Tiffany. You know, in the fashion world where you could just do the little nipple things. So pasties. Yeah, pasties, exactly. So these would be reverse pasties because they have a hole in the center. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Never mind. So, um. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um, so this is the Strata Cup. Oh, wait, that's not out yet. The Strata Cup Tumblr. Uh, template is coming out May 1st so did I throw you off your game no okay I just had to remember if these were out yet and I totally realized that these cups are not out yet so this is going to be double-sided sticky we're not going to use glue to do our bling today okay. what, what? <laughs> oh my gosh no <laughs> so there's two sides to this there's the white side and there's the clear side okay. um you can peel off just one of hey those. look my nails Cute. are done. I feel like I'm keeping up. Yeah, you are. I, mine's broke. I don't want to flip you off. But <laughs> They're broke. cute, though. I love Thanks. the yellow. I cannot go to her on a busy day. She just rushes through and mm. does not spend time on my designs. And I'm like, I hate that. I see you. It was Easter weekend, so everyone was getting their nails done. Okay, so once you have it off, you're going to want to line it up perfectly on okay. the lid. As perfectly as you can. We missed you too, Heather. Your nails match your cup. Lavender they do. is beautiful. They do. You guys, I didn't even notice. Oh, that. that's why I thought you said it in the beginning. I thought you were like, Look. oh no, it comes together. But yeah, they look super cute. You're gonna have to take I a picture actually of your nails. got gels done, and I was like, oh, I feel like Tania, my nails are all done. And I kept looking down. And I was like, oh. It does. It makes me feel put together. And yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. Yeah, I'm going to have to start doing it more. I took Emmy, too, and we both got, like, our hair, our nails and our toes done. And yeah, I need to get my it. toes done bad. My nail lady's always like, toes? I'm like, I don't have time for toes. One day she's going to be like, you need she toes. Does. Pop in there. She always is like, toes. <laughs> Just like when you go and you're feeling good, they're like, you need eyebrow wax. Yes. Like, you need it done. And I'm like, no, I'm good. She's like, no, you need it. No, no, we have a good eyebrow lady. You don't talk about our eyebrows. <laughs> Um, okay, so pick a bling, any bling. Oh gosh, um, there's so many choices, it's so hard. These are not all my bling colors, so wow. you can go this with, um, like I suggest if you want to stick with the color that you have. Ooh, that's beautiful. Right? It's, um, 
Guys, help me out. What's our AB purple? It's one of the Monsters, Inc. colors. I feel like it's Soli or Kitty. Oh, cute. Um, I love the names. What's this? Here's the same one and a little smaller. Ooh, I, see, I'm a, such an iridescent girl because it, it, it gets all the colors. Right. So this is like a organized one, but this is my favorite color. Oh, I don't have any beautiful. here. Um, it's a, it's naked, so it picks up whatever color mm. you're putting it on. Naked and pasties today. <laughs> <laughs> but these are tiny. Like, I don't have the big version of them, so it might take you a second. Otherwise, I can try to find a bigger version of Duchess. But this that's what gorgeous. I use on here. So this is the naked one. I like this. And see how it picks up the blue. So wait. It's the same, it's the same oh, color. Oh, okay. It's naked, so it doesn't, it literally just shines through and picks up, it'll pick up this purple. So it'll look purple. So if you oh. want iridescent, that's a good choice. Um, I like these two so far. Or we have these mega mixes that are like a bunch of different shapes and. That would be too hard for me. Okay. I like I it like, you yeah, see how cohesive and beautiful that is? Yeah. If I put one wrong shape and it's like a little Tetris game and then I have a gap, I'm gonna be like, ah! So that's why These there's two. multiple sizes. Okay. Which one, you guys? The Duchess, naked Duchess or ice? Well, okay. This is actually a color that we don't carry right now, so I don't know what to call it. It's like a. It's like a. It used it's to like be called. Opal. It's like a OG ice queen. Back when we had an ice queen. Now we have ice queen and mega mix. I'm like an ice queen. I want to do make it pink on. Well, I don't know if that'll work. These are so pretty. I finally, you guys, you know how every video, remember I've been asking about using the bling? I told you we would, oh no, I'm gonna do um, small one because it's like the exact match. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And I have actually, Never, would you like, like me to go get you something really quick that yes. you might be so excited about? Yes. Hold on. Stay there. Or should I do purple, you guys? So I'm thinking either, well, let me put the lids on because you guys know if I show you and they spill everywhere, I'm gonna be in trouble. So do we do purple, like a dark, deep purple to match, or do I do the iridescent for this? Oh gosh, it's so hard. I have more duchess somewhere. Duchess. I need more duchess. But it's gonna come up, so you have to remember that. Just duchess. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's gonna pull the purple. Ooh, both. Mm, a both little. be fun, but. A little. You can always mix. See, this is pretty because this isn't just a deep purple. This is like a deep purple and a lavender mix, which is really, really pretty. Right. <gasps> so this is your mitt. That's your. Uh, oh my god. Right here, but this is never before seen, and I don't want to talk about what it is, but it's different purples mixed Ooh, in that's one. That's beautiful. I don't know if. Yeah, this one's pretty too. I don't know if you want that. If you don't, if you want just Duchess, I've got some right here. I kind of want to be the first to have. Well, and we won't really, this is a, all the purples mixed together. We're not going to talk about what it actually is. But if you'd love to make a project with it, have at it. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. You don't We're have doing to. it. And you can always um, trade out your lids this. too. Like if okay. you get more than, hopefully we get to making the koozies. If not, we'll uh, we'll just bling today. Okay. We can make. I'm gonna be making a bunch of these for our trip, so. So excited! I'll probably do some live on Monday if we don't get to those koozies. I'm excited. Blah, blah. Blah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you this little tray, and you dump into the tray, hmm. and then you use the bling tool. So I typically will only peel back a tiny bit so that it's exposed and I keep my bling like right next to my project. Actually, you know what? Gosh, this is perfect color right? match, dude. That's crazy. So if you take your lid off, it'll be closer to your bling. Let me move this. Can I get a little chair? To sit on? Yeah. I suppose I'll let you sit today. Thank you. Do she you works me so stool? hard, you guys. Do you want a chair or do you want a stool? Ooh, a stool. Are you sure? A little stool because I am tall. Well, I was thinking if I put you on this stool and then I sit on a taller stool, maybe we will be the same. It's so funny because I came in here with heels and I was like, I must remove the heels before we go live. <laughs> <laughs> they always make you sit, but then I feel tall. You know, it was funny. I was looking at your personal account on Easter and yeah. someone was like, she's just a tiny, a tiny human. Or what they say, it was so funny. I'm not the biggest human or something. That was, was That was because Landis is taller than me now. And... My cousin from out of town was like, no, was it, was it her? No, it was a friend from out of town. She was like, is Landis taller than you? And then 
my cousin was like, well, to be fair, she's not much to pass up. I exactly. Like, I guess. How tall are you? Five two. Yeah, you're, you're tiny. I am. I'm short. But look at it. I'm way taller than you right now. I'm all torso. This is a first. You're all legs. <laughs> yeah, I am. I got long legs. I just realized that. Like, you have really long legs, so when we sit, maybe we could sit on the same size stool and be the same height. <laughs> That's funny. Because I got these short, little, stumpy legs, man. It's okay. It's, a, it's my dad. <laughs> it's my dad. Did I get you the bling tool? No. Here's a partial one. Um, yeah, I look so, like my dad, so it's all good. Your dad's kind of skinny, isn't he? Yeah, he's got long, skinny legs, and I have his, like, long toes. It's crazy. Oh, that's fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. If you look like your dad, you, I mean, you know, you I either look like, like your dad or your mom. And I feel like that can be a good thing for some people. For and some. Some people, you're like. I'm just going for it. Do I just go for it? Yeah. You can okay. do it however you want. Some people, wait, did you peel the plastic off? Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, you did. I did so, not. So, <laughs> some people go unified all the way around some oh. people do just random i'm using on one size i'm so scared because i've never done this you'll be fine and okay. then there's little baby sizes in there you might have to, to mix fill in the dry. gaps yes okay. and then we also because we're using this exposed sticky we go in with glitter afterwards so oh, okay we'll grab a coordinating glitter so and cool. dump it i'm so girly i love anything that sparkles right oh my gosh this i is like your little set something on it and hold it back i need a bling tool these are nice. These are like a little bit heavy too, and they like I like these. Yeah, they used to have my logo on them, but this one does. This one has your logo. It does. Yeah, the OG. The OGs. <laughs> How many of you guys are an anti Tay OG? Been around for? That's Ooh. like a loaded question because some people can probably be OGs and be like, I've followed you since you've had a membership. And then some people can be like, I've followed you since you had a patron. And then some people can be like, I've followed you since you were doing, I don't know. Like literally when you first started. Yeah. What's your OG status here? We yeah, gotta when did you start following my channel? Oh, I've never asked that. That's fun. Remember I told you we need to have like loaded questions right, right. between us, but then I have lots of things that go on in my mind for just like, All you know things. me, when I post, I always ask a question. Do you notice that in my post? Yeah, and it's helpful because people actually say something. And you get to know your audience right. and who you're talking to, and it's just really, I love I love getting to know people. It's right. just always been, I'm a chatty Cathy. That's right. why I loved bartending and waitressing and all that good stuff. Yep, I'm that type. Like if I'm not doing something that I love doing, I have to at least be doing it with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like this job, I love doing what I'm doing so I can be alone, but give me a job where I'm just looking at the clock and I'm like, give me people and I will be fine. Yeah, I, I love can, talking. I could do anything. And as long as people are there, I will be happy. I'm definitely a people person. Yeah. Patron. Right before the patron days, four years ago, I found you when I was Aww. wanting to make Mickey ears. Aww. I've been following you since before the membership. I started watching you right before patron, learned everything about my cricket from you. Oh, I love that. I think, let's see, what's a question that we'll see if any, I don't know if like, I don't even know if people who used to watch me back in the day even still watch me. That's the problem. They probably do. They might, but are they still around? I know, isn't that crazy? You've been, how long have you had your YouTube channel? Um, I've been doing crafts on my YouTube channel for six years. Wow. Six years, maybe more than that now. It changes every year. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I actually forget sometimes how long I've owned my business. Someone's like, oh, how long have you been in business? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Right. I know it's March 1st, but um. Yeah, I always have to count. It's yeah, like a maybe birthday. knowing the year would be helpful. Right? I think mine was 2018. Nice. So but that I'm would be sure. three years? Yeah, three years as my own independent boutique. Boutique. And I love it. Right? I really, truly love it. Yeah. It's right well, I, I love parts of it. I am such a creative person. I love the pictures. I love the ordering stuff and styling and stuff, mm -hmm. but... I don't like the shipping and, you know, just the mundane stuff. We all have those parts of our business that we're just like, I hate that part. Right. Shipping is that part for me. And I hope one day that 
I can get big enough to hire a single mom in my area to do that for me. That'd be awesome. That would be goals right there. Yeah. Or even, um, like, I like hiring single moms, but sometimes single moms have really a lot of skills. Yes. So, like, hiring them for something. I like hiring, like, the youngsters to do the lame work sometimes. Oh. Because I'm, like... Like teenagers, like yes. like who are looking for their first job. Yeah, to build that's, some character, you know. That's a good idea. I never yeah. thought of that. And then the young, like, because typically a single mom will like actually have like amazing skill sets, you know, True. because we're moms. Like, we I, can do it all. I've learned more about like I would hire a mom before I'd hire not a mom first. Right, you know? like, right. You're like, dude, you know that you can work for nothing pretty much so now you can work for money would it just be a benefit true that's so true yeah doing yourself work i'm also using big stones okay. but you're, oh that looks so pretty it is really pretty huh i love all these different it's pinks and purples and it's, it's all the shades that we uh, we have of purple i love so it it has sophia evil not evil queen i can't remember all the colors Whoa. Whoa. i know because you have so many right we have we started with 40 but we've launched more since then that's crazy can you wash the tumblers using the sticky paper yes but i typically only do koozies and lids so that i don't have to wash them like vigorously i just have to wash the inside no vigorous washing no vigorous washing allowed I could see how you could just like turn on a show or a yes. podcast and just like go. Right. Just like bling everything that you own. Yeah. See, I am not the best at blinging. Landis is my blinger. Is she? And this isn't a mix. So I have to like either get it perfect with the same size or. Oh, that's how a mix is useful. Yes. All mix, the different sizes. Mixes are our number one popular thing, but I, being so lazy, <laughs> like to use the big ones so I can just get it done. You're so funny. I am. <laughs> See, I am the opposite. I'd rather, if I'm doing something like this, I'd rather take for days and get it perfect with all the little pieces. Yeah. Than to do like a bigger. The only thing. Ah! Well, and some people like ah! just think this is so How satisfying. Do you get it off? How Use do you get the, it off? this end. Sorry, I gave you broken blade. Girl, trade you. Okay, so it does come off. Yeah, but this diamond dot stuff, like, it sticks. So oh once gosh, it's how on, get it off. Here, let me help you. Oh, just leave it. Work oh. around it. No. Because oh, you got it with the base on there. Ah! I thought you got it, like, upside down. No. You'll be fine. Just work around I it. I can't. It's throwing off my mojo. So when I there do you. mixes like that, I will just, like, go in and put random large ones everywhere. And then I will um, fill in with little ones after someone either said the stuff for the diamond dots yeah it's the sandwich sticky for the diamond dots i did this exact tutorial on my amazon live if you guys want to see me do it i think didn't i do that yeah i did this one in on amazon yeah this stuff is sticky yeah it's amazing because you don't have to use glue I love that because yep. it does look tedious sometimes like when I see your influencers doing it and they're like doing a little glue and then yep you know I live for this diamond dot sandwich sticky and you can cut it with your Cricut so Perfect. I come out with all the t the templates and then they can just cut it out and we are doing strata cups this month in May and then the grande cups what's a strata cup what we're using right now yeah these are like a really popular cup that people in the cup world use a lot there's a cup world <laughs> I'm just being a brat. Did you not know that? I had no idea. You did it? Well, okay, that's a lie because I see the girls hoarding all the Starbucks cups. Yeah, and now companies are coming out, not companies, but like some small businesses are coming out where they're actually just selling the cups, the blank cups. Huh. Who just posted? Oh, Ivy just posted like her friend's business that has like a ton of blank cups. Oh, that's cool. I did. I should probably carry blank cups now that I think about it. Hey! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not launch the cups with these circles in it as like a little pack? Right. And a bling, you could do like a whole cup kit. Shut up right now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Who would like cup kits? Let us know. <laughs> 
I'm going to be in charge of that project. Right. Oh, oh gosh. Man. That would actually be super fun. It would be fun. Because I, then you have every, like, with COVID, people, like, are got, like, the take, like, the sugar cookies that they could decorate at home. Everything was in right. there. Like, if you just give me everything in one spot, I'm a happy girl because I don't want to go here and there and everywhere to get That's what I need. so true. I could just sell the little packs of the bling the same, then just enough to do the lid yes. of these and get the strata cups. I don't know if I can get wholesale strata cups, but. We could figure it out, We'll girl. figure it out. <laughs> I love your tank top, my shirt turn out amazing oh, oh your yeah. tank tops yeah i just ordered four from her because my i've been wearing my the one we made in the video uh -huh. like so much and people <laughs> are like i love that shirt and is I, it the poison apple yeah and i love that shirt and now that it's sunny out like i'm gonna be wearing that shirt with jeans every day i love them yeah. we got sublimation blanks for you guys yeah they're racerback sublimation blanks they're so good even if you guys don't sublimate and just need like a really nice tank top they're so soft like i can't even yeah. get over the softness of them they're so good so i'm glad who said that that they got the tanks uh barbara oh Lazzarini. yay did she ring a bell so Bar I, I I know I did ship some to Barbara, but I can't remember last names. Um, I remember a lot of you guys by your Instagram handles. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, I'm so glad you like them, Barbara. Yeah, they're, they're we good. tested you guys. Don't even know how many shirts we tested to find you guys the perfect sublimation blanks when we first decided that we wanted to launch this. Yep. Um, there were many, many, many victims. We did our... it before I even had a sublimation printer. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I had sent off a bunch of our designs to Smashing Ink. So literally whatever I had lying around, I would be like, just give me that shirt. Let's test the sublimation. Let's see if the ink works on it. So then she just brought it back to me and was like, what do you want to do with all these? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> um, Emmy's wearing a shirt today, the oh, Africa good. shirt that I be bleached, the blue one. Oh, good. She loves it because it's a crop top. But oh. it's longer on her, so it's, so not, it's like not a, a crop top. <laughs> so it's not truly a crop top, but it's not as long as her normal shirt. Right. She is eight, you guys, and she is getting into wanting to wear. You should have. It was horrendous watching her walk out of her room this morning in gymnastic shorts, which you guys all know are so short. Yes. And she had a, the crop top on. That oh, heck made. no. I was like, excuse me? So I don't know. I just, I can't with the crop tops. What do we do? Like, I don't, I don't know. For those of you who have raised kids or are almost to the end, like, what do you do? What do you do? I, I told her to get her butt back in her room and get some shorts on because she was wearing them. They look like little. And I'm like one to talk because I dressed like that as a teenager. I like I was all about try to look older than you are because you already are tiny and the boys just look over your head at all the tall girls. Yep. And I'm like, well, let me make them look down here and put on my short shorts. My mom threw away my shorts without telling me. And I would just be like, where are these shorts? <laughs> and she's like, I don't know. That's actually super smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. And then you, some of her girlfriends that she plays with in the neighborhood wear those kinds of outfits. Right. And so she thinks, like, they're cool, and you know, and I'm like, no, you can't do that. Like, you're literally eight. Right. She's got long blonde hair and everything, and it's scary because there's some creepy people out there, and it's like, that's the last thing I need. Like, I think of little, what's her name? John Benet Ramsey. John Benet. But you're not a John Benet Ramsey mom. No. Okay. But still, I feel like she's got the blonde hair, and she's got the tan skin, and she's so cute, and she's eight, and I'm like, what are you? Right. You're getting so old. Right. <sighs> I can't be the only mom who has that problem. Corey says, I feel you. My We battle the crop top thing. My girls can't leave the house in a shirt if you raise your arms and it shows your tummy. Ooh. Right? My girls go. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Arms, arms to your ears. And they're like. So your girls like crop tops oh, too. Oh, yeah, because that's what's in style right now. And, and the so, high shorts. Yeah, so like Briley will pull her pants up to her like chest and then be like well you can't see anything I'm like you're not gonna wear your pants up that high right like urkel <laughs> yeah like i'm not dumb like i've been there before and yeah no that's so funny it is the style it's like 80s all over again it's right. coming back which for landis it's like perfect because she her style is more of like the skater girl so she mm. wears like these over and yes, i'm like the biker shorts oh yeah. my gosh i can't 
I really did want to get biker shorts for the boutique. And then everyone, I was like, ladies, what do we think about these? And they're like, yeah, if I was 12. And I was like, oh. I like the really long ones, though. Are you going to think about carrying those? I was. I had. I found some when we do our white t-shirt thing. Mm -hmm. I, I found these really cute black um biker shorts and they had lace details on the oh, side oh i saw those did you post a picture of them yes yes i saw those but i got so many negative reactions really yes i was like girls are like no it reminds me of full house and i'm like what yeah but that's so in style right now and those are so flattering well maybe i'll just like. get them well you don't have to just get them because i want them but no but i wanted them too and then everyone yeah. said no and i'm like mm -hmm. bring them back girl bring them I, back it took me a decade but i brought scrunchies back finally i love scrunchies i never stopped wearing them and love them. i <gasps> have you seen the super scrunchies like the huge ones huge yes i love them i'm obsessed with scrunchies and now i love scrunchies with a bow on them cute not even just like not even just like the tie bow. Like those are cute too, but like I have this one that has a black bow and I wore it on the mission trip and just threw my hair in a messy bun, but it was like cute messy bun because yes. it had a bow on it. And I was like, okay. Messy buns can be so in style if you have like a little cute hair accessory yes. to go with them. I have the cutest, do you remember that one day I first came here and I did my messy bun, but I had the twist underneath? Yep. There's so many fun ways you can style a messy bun to make it like chic. Right. So I, I love it. it. My hair has changed texture so much since I've gotten older though. Like I used to be able to do so many fun things and now it's kind of like thin and scraggly and it used to be like thick and dry so I could, it would just hold anything. So now I'm like, oh, it's kind of flat today. Like not used to that. That's crazy. I yeah. wonder why. I think just every 10 years they say your hair changes. 10 years? Really? Yeah. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but I feel like it is. Um... Does anyone know if we can sublimate on canvas? I don't know. Ooh, why are we so blurry? What is going on with the world? What's canvas? Like a, oh, we're fine. Like a canvas. Like a painting canvas? Ooh. Probably if you, um, well, I don't know. Maybe use, this is what I would do. I would sublimate onto fabric and stretch it over a wood frame. Ooh, that would be cool. Like a canvas. I, I feel like know. a canvas might burn. I don't know if it would burn, but I don't think it's polyester. Oh. So, I, because I iron on to canvases with HTV, and they don't burn, but I don't know. This is taking for days. I feel bad. You're fine. Okay. That's what bling is. And so, like, for those, okay. for anybody who likes the Diamond Dots process of making, like, a huge painting, because you know what Diamond Dots really are? No. There are these humongous pictures with these like <gasps> tiny little baby blings and people just sit and bling them my mom loves them does she yes and she'll sit outside and listen to her music and just diamond dots that's cute. and i'm like first of all i don't have enough time in the day to do that <laughs> second of all i don't want a huge picture of bling Hanging somewhere Not that in I don't, house. like, I like diamond dots. I love them for kids. I love, like, the, and my mom and, like, anybody who has time to do them. But, like, give me a little lid that takes me maybe an hour and I can do it in the time of watching a movie. And you're golden. And then you've got something fun to take along with you. Like, you That's can't true. do anything with your picture. That's true. You just put it there. That's so true. You know? So. I do, like, I'm so excited, like, to just see what you're bringing to Disney and... Mm -hmm coordinating everything i'm super super stoked right and now that i just came up with this no so koozie i will make a bunch on monday with you guys but you'll get plenty you're they're so cute yeah they're so cute i can't even i'm already thinking of all the things in the shop that can like go with oh yeah go with it's it it's the best accessory plus we'll be able to take a break and drink out of it and so we don't have to constantly have a picture with a mask on you know what we're gonna have to pee so much when we're there that's okay because okay. we have to change our outfits that's so true we'll pee and change our outfits that's true stay hydrated <gasps> Ooh, speaking of we should eat some snacks too we should what you got for me today tiff you keep leaning okay Can I grab them yeah please. okay what I spared, I really oh gosh <laughs> i spared your life with the sockeye salmon that jerky so pretty thank you <laughs> You didn't bring the salmon jerky. No, me and Larissa were like gagging on it. We're like, we can't. We can't. I have something cold in, in here. Ooh, um, it's a jar of pickled asparagus. You told me what it is? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good, you guys. Pickled asparagus? I'm so excited that you do this I'm, because 
I literally went to the store right after and I was like, okay, where's the weenies? Where's, <laughs> I was like, uh, first of all, I fell in love with kombucha, which is technically not keto, but it's so good for your respiratory health. That kind health. of stuff is so yes. good. That brand, not all kombucha is made equally. No. I'll just tell you what. <laughs> I tried many and I was like, oh gosh, not drinking. And they're much. so much cheaper. Yes. They're so, I love Grocery Alley. It's not a 99 cent store. I know. <laughs> So I told her, I was like, I always thought Grocery the Outlet was like the place where they sent all the broken boxes. And I feel really bad because I'm like, you should. Judging like we're not, eat, we're not getting our food Not there. just that, but like, you know, the 99 cents only store. You're like, how old is this? Yeah. Store? And that's kind of how I felt like that store was. But when I went in there, I was like, and even Dustin, I told him, I was like, babe, you have to try Grocery Outlet. It's so cool. And he's like, okay. And then he was he was like, no, it's not like the 99 cent store. And then he went and he was like texting me. He's like, this place is really cool. I was like, I know. I didn't know either. I love it. I'm Okay. I'm really excited for you to try this. I like them plain, but I'll also tell you, <laughs> I'll also tell you how, what I made with them. And I think that you'll love what I made with them too. Okay. So this has asparagus, water, vinegar, salt, sugar, has sugars in it. Has sugars. Only two grams of Not sugar. Not much. Spices and garlic. Occasionally a harmless gray flecking. <laughs> I read this too. It's crazy. <laughs> what? If you look on them, do you see those little gray things on them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Read about the flecking. Occasionally a harmless gray flecking will appear on your spears. <laughs> I hate when fleckings appear on my spears. <laughs> Flecking, flecking. <laughs> Get the flecking things off. <laughs> this precipitate, precipitate, precipitate is rotten. Precipitate. <laughs> it doesn't help me understand what it is. The precipitate, you know, like the, like, you know when you get precipitation on a cup, right? Okay, I've never heard of it as a noun. <laughs> I really right. like the precipitate on your cup. I'm going to start using that term. <laughs> may precipitate <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. precipitate is rotten which doesn't help me because i don't know what rotten, rotten. is hmm. a healthy protein oh it's explaining it for me oh, if I get to okay. you, which trying. occurs naturally in the pickling process there you go there so it's kind of like a little i can't bump. see <laughs> <laughs> moment of truth i just eat this whole thing uh, huh oh yeah did you find these where'd you find these these are at costco, costco. they're in a two pack and i'll tell you how i made what i did with them is um, after you eat them. Oh, they're like sweet pickle. Yeah, not dill pickle. No, I okay. forgot what they taste like. I haven't had them in a couple days. Would you like one? Yeah, I would. They are. So they taste like sweet pickles. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they're probably really healthy. Mhm. Mm. Mm, dang. You like them? Mhm. Mm so what I did was I got turkey meat, and I took the turkey meat, and I did cream cheese, and then I put a couple spears and rolled them up. And they were really good. Girl, I know. Need, we should do a keto cookbook. Yeah. A keto snack book. Ooh, keto snack book would be fun because I like all the snacks. Right? But those are pretty banging, and I wouldn't normally get those, but my sister had them in her fridge, and I'm like, what are these? And I tried them, and I'm like, I am obsessed. I love them. They're so good. They're I, only 10 calories for two of them. So good. Um, and then there are two grams of carbs for two of them. So, I mean, if you were to eat like 10, you'd get. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Because I love pickles, but you don't always want like the salt of a pickle. And right. Like, they're not, those aren't very they're, salty. Right. And they're sweet pickled, so it's not. I was expecting a dill pickle taste. Um, hi, Karen from St. Cloud, Florida. Hi, guys. Um, precipitation is like rain. Right. But I never heard it called precipitate. Precipitate. Keto crackers. Where is this one from? Costco. I just went shopping at Costco, obviously. See? I send Dustin to Costco. He doesn't report back what is there. I mean, Ooh, we can talk about these? personal shopping later. <laughs> I'm down. They are so amazing. So you know how we talked about dipping in with pork rinds? They smell like coconut. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff is made with coconut if you're doing like low carb or keto. But I love them. I actually. Mm, oh my God. Aren't they good? I was expecting to taste coconut. I feel like they're a little sweet, like coconut, but I actually made you guacamole. I made guacamole at the house. Me and Larissa ate some, and I was like, I'm going to bring this so she could dip her chip. I forgot it. But they're so good. 
And these are so good. They taste like a real cracker, right? Yeah. Like you wouldn't even suspect. You don't have to feel left out when everyone's eating. They're so good with just cheese on them. Like they're bomb. Yeah, like if I were to do this with my cheese and meat, I wouldn't miss out on the cracker yes, portion of it. Yes, because you're getting the crunch and everything. They're so bomb. Get these. They're so good. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. They're so good. They have pumpkin seeds, almonds, and hemp seeds, so you're getting a ton of really healthy things. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, brown rice flour, tapioca flour, almonds, hemp seeds, erythritol, inulin, blue agave, brown rice protein, flax seeds, crispy brown rice, sea salt, coconut butter. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing. Coconut butter. Baking powder, nutritional yeast, and natural flavor, which could come from anywhere, but... Right. But they're pretty overall. They seem pretty clean. So, right. Like Cheetos mm. or these. Right. These. True. True so, that. Yeah, that's so a fade. good. So wait till we go to Girl. Disneyland. I'm going to have all the snacks. Well, I guess there's food to eat there, but I'm really trying to Yeah, we it. have to because every ticket comes with a $25 snack thing. Because it was $75 for the ticket, but $25 of that come is a voucher for food. I think that's such a good idea. Yeah, which we can always Because their get. food's expensive there. We'll probably get like one or two. Oh, that's for my water. <laughs> for my lemons and my water. I love lemon water, you guys. It's Coconut Keto Cluster. Oh, these are bomb. So it's the same brand. Oh, they're so good. Inno Foods. Inno Foods. I'm like innovative. We like you. Right? Inno Foods. Right? Does anyone watching live like a low carb um, keto lifestyle, by the way? I don't know if they do, but they probably have started since I've started talking about it a lot because I failed on them. When I tried Optavia, I bailed and then I forgot how to cook or find keto things. Yeah, I love, I love just discovering these. Aren't those so good? What the heck? I know. I know. They're bomb. And I literally, you guys, I just go to Costco and I take my time and I go down each aisle. A lot of, Costco has a lot of keto things, but. So good. Yeah, it's hit or miss, but you can return anything to Costco. So I just go for it. And then if I love it, I keep it. And if I hate it, I return it. <laughs> okay, so. Those are these bomb. These have eight grams of carbs, but they have three grams of fiber and one gram of sugar alcohol. So they're four net carbs. They're so good, huh? Oh my goodness. They're like a little sweet treat. These are so good. <laughs> I know, give me one. <laughs> I want one. Pecans, almonds, and oh. pumpkin seeds. And guys, I'm this not. Is like a double. Oh, it's a heart. It is a heart. I am not a nut person. Like, I. Really? Mm mm. Like, I've tried to be, and um, mm. these are more like a. Like, the coconut takes over and makes it more of like a granola feel but it's like you could definitely chop this up and put it in like a yogurt that would be bomb you're really smart at this stuff thank you because i don't like to eat the same boring crap me either <laughs> it's really frustrating which like, is why i like keto yeah because you can do whatever but you have to be creative oh my gosh which blows no. my mind because you're such a creative person you'd think you'd be more creative with food <laughs> no i really i really can be but right now in this season of life i have no time to be mm -hmm. and like i said with sweets i got really good at making sweets but it's all time consuming yeah oh i got a sweet in there for you to try okay mm. Mm. this is a sweet this is so good these are bomb you're so good <laughs> i know Who, this brand like you want to sponsor our show whoop, whoop. send us all the keto snacks <laughs> tag them on instagram see if they want to Keep us well stocked for, <laughs> for our show. Please get the plug on that. Be like, can you just? <laughs> What'd you do? I lost part of it. You'll be fine. Oh, I feel a big bag. Oh, I know these. I eat these all the time. Oh, those are bomb. So um, smoked house. You know my favorite um, flavor stuff. Hands? There's one right here. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm hoarding it. Okay. My favorite. See, uh. Flavor. Flavor, mm -hmm. thank you, is salt and vinegar. I haven't those. had those. Uh -uh. If you like salt and vinegar chips, it's a good little, like, kind of in lieu of the chip. And then <clears> the <throat> Thai chili. Mm, I've had those are bomb. Yeah, those, those ones are, are good. Have you had the smoke house? Yeah. Okay. It's like they're more of their, like, they sell them in the big bags. Yeah. So it's $4 off at Costco right now. Nice. Nuts are so expensive. I know. Like, so expensive, but yeah. I would like to try, I thought there was a wasabi one that they made, too. Yes, that one I love, too. I think I've had it. I'm not for sure, but I do love wasabi. 
I like the wasabi ones a Do lot. Do you? Yeah, I think in order it's like, it's Thai chili, salt and vinegar, wasabi, these. Mm, okay. So that's like, just for you to realize like, I these always are good though. I always have the smokehouse because they're on sale, so mm -hmm. you can't be a deal on nuts. Okay, what else we got in here? And have you tried the um, enlightened ice cream? Mm. If you like ice cream. I don't know if I have. I just got keto ice cream bars at Costco. Okay. That are bomb. The, they are. Because Halo Top is disgusting. I, I've had Halo Top and it's gross. It tastes like powder. artificial. Yeah. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. It's like frozen powder. And you're like, this is a protein shake. Don't lie. Do you like, have a spoon for that? No. Okay. Well, you can just go like that if you want and shake it down. Did you want to share it? <laughs> no. What is this? It's yogurt. Keto yogurt. Do you like yogurt? Mm hmm I love yogurt. Do I want to glurp it, though? Do you want to glurp it for the audience? Mm. <laughs> mm, that's good. Isn't it good? Mm hmm That one's also from Costco. It's with, very sweet. It is. I like fresh raspberries on that with a little bit of, like, not that granola, but there's... Costco makes a keto granola that is fire. It what? has, like, dried up blueberries in it. And then a bunch of other nuts and seeds, and it's super good, and it's Ooh. not sweet. Okay. And You're getting good. me so excited because, guys, I woke up this morning, and I literally was like, what is the date? And I was like, it's the 8th. My half birthday's over. <laughs> and I was like, how old am I going to be? And I was like, you're going to be 35. And then I was like, I'm going to be 35? Isn't it crazy? And then I was like, you've spent the last five years of your life not being happy with your body. Aww. It's time Same. to suck it up. Do what you need to do so you can have the rest of your 30s back. Yes. It's not even about, like, a certain number or whatever. It's, like, feeling good about yourself. I'm all about every shape and every good. size. Mm -hmm. But it's when you don't feel happy that you should do something. If you feel happy with where you're at, girl, who cares if you're a size 0 or 24? It doesn't matter. Yeah. But I'm not happy. That's why I decided to do it again. Like, after we do this... Me and Loris are going to go lift weights at the gym. Nice. Yeah. And I have no excuses. I have like a full gym in my garage now. So no I have to do it. We set that up during COVID and it's finally set up. So I have no excuses. And I mean, except that I'm extremely busy. Right. But that's still not an excuse. I actually am more productive when I work out. So it's yeah. really not an excuse at all. It's so hard to get motivated. But like once you do it, you just have all this energy and you just want to keep going. And then you're not tired anymore. And you're right. like, what? Right. It's a game changer. And I know why people work out. There's a lot of people who work out for depression. Just so many reasons. Oh, yeah. When I, when, after I had the girls, I worked out two hours a day because that was, like, my time away from them. And I, like, I was never unhappy. Now I'm always unhappy. That's <laughs> like, me with Emmy. California Family Fitness offered two hours of yep. child care. And you could come back again if you yes. took it off for two hours. Yes. Yep. I would go there. I would do my homework. Mm -hmm. I would work out. And I would go lay by the pool all in the two hours. And yep. it was my time. And I was like, this is the best $75 I've ever spent in my life. I know. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried these. I'm excited to try them okay. with you. These are called Salami Whips. Mm, I oh, literally boy. got them from there for their name, you guys. Did you? Yes. Salami whips? Like, what? <laughs> what is that? That's what motivated me, Tay, except I was 64 when I decided I was not going to stay the way I was. I was athletic through my 30s, slowed down in my 40s, nothing in my 50s, and keto in my 40s. Um, minus 40 pounds. Woohoo! Way to go. That's a huge accomplishment. That's amazing. Do they smell gross? They look disgusting. Oh, God. They I'm look scared. like intestines. They <laughs> 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 look like... <laughs> oh, I'm kind of scared. I can't be... I can't... Like... I can't vouch for this one. Okay. You're lucky I didn't Wait, bring you so the So far, like, it. what you do vouch for is very good. Thank you. So I won't judge your judgment on these. Okay. Okay, it's good. Is it good? Mm, okay, let me try. Wait, it's doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like dry? Mm. They look like they'd be dry. Mm. It has some weird texture. Okay, let me try. I like the other ones better that you got. I think it starts and finishes strong, but in the middle it does a little wonky thing. It says it has like a chewy texture. Like a... I like them. Okay. I like them. They're okay. I like the other ones better too, but they're okay. I like the other ones. The hard part is 
they are so high in calorie. Mm -hmm. Any of these salami things that, because I did keto for probably like eight months and I did really good and lost a good amount of weight, but I think I was just consuming too many calories. Yeah, which you can. Yeah, because I was you, drinking heavy cream and everything. And I was yeah. like, oh, heavy cream has a ton of calories. You need to get this. I'm going to pass on the book that I'm reading. Yeah. It really changes your perspective on keto eating because you shouldn't be hungry. Like, I'm never hungry, but the, like, like just two of those things were are, like, 150 true. calories or something like that. That's true. And then if you ate, like, four or five, all of a sudden you're at, like. Right. And that's how heavy cream is. Like, I would mix it in with Bi Drinks, which is so good. What is it? Bi Drinks. They're like... Oh, yeah, the B-A-I? Yeah. I get the orange Malawi one, and then I mix in a little heavy cream, and it tastes like a cream orange drink. Mm. And it keeps you full because it's heavy cream. Mm -hmm. But you go a little heavy on the heavy cream, and you just put yourself into, like, 500 calories. Right. You know? So you just have to be aware. That book I'm reading says... Ooh. Did you want one of these? Um, yeah, I do. The book that I'm reading says not to do, um, like artificial sugars either right. because it makes you crave sugar more. And I have those like zero calorie drinks mm -hmm. and I just returned them all to Costco. We had like two or three out of them because I was noticing and like I did, I was craving sugar and sweets like this. And the minute I stopped for three days, it took, right. I don't feel like I'm having those cravings for like super sweet stuff anymore. Right. Which so, is crazy. Like stevia, like it's okay to have like monk fruit and, yeah. I, and um there's a couple other ones that they use that are correct right right I, yeah he said stevia i don't remember i i do have a lot of monk fruit stuff yeah monk fruit stevia and then i use truvia when i do baking so i'm not Ooh. sure if it's good or not but i don't know when we used there was an there was one brand we used and it just gives you a headache Ooh, and yeah. i think it was it shouldn't have been included in the the good, bad, or good, wrong, I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, the like good, this, bad sugars. Right, good, right. Like the artificial. Like the good what, artificial sugars. <laughs> yeah, because you do have to be careful with that stuff, which I didn't really know. I was like, ooh, give me all the zero calorie. And then I read that book and I'm like, no. Right. We must stay away. Because I was like, why am I having such a hard time? I'm not eating sugar, but I still want all the sugar. Right. That is exactly why. These are going to blow your freaking mind. They better, because I make these at home and they're bomb. So if these can replace me having to make them, that would be good. One gram net carb. Are they peanut butter cups? No. No? No. Okay, good, because I thought. The peanut butter ones are I suck. smell mint. They're literally a thin mint. What? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you love them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so good. Mm, this could have got me through Easter. Mm-hmm. Yummy. And they're little fat bombs. Right. Which I still want to know how to make a homemade because I would love to still make a homemade, but these normally retail for like 15 bucks. They're expensive. Grocery outlet, $6.99. Nice. So I bought every single bag because <laughs> I don't got time to make my own bag. Right. And Larissa's like, you better give me one. I was like, I'll give you one. And then she saw how many I have. She's like, okay, you're going to have to give me two. Because <laughs> I can't find them anywhere and they're so good. And did you check for the sugars and everything in them? Mmm. -hmm. Yes. This one has erythritol. Is that okay? I have no idea. Okay. I feel like that's a good one because my friend who is super healthy eats erythritol. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I think it's because erythritol might be a plant-based sugar. Mm-hmm. But I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But these are these taste like thin mints, you guys. These are so freaking good. These really are good. I love these. Mm -hmm. They taste like real candy. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Good choices. Those are my keto snacks for this I season. I love them, right? <laughs> Plus, um, I feel like we're here sometimes for so long. It's, like, so nice to eat. Mm-hmm. Because Tinian never has snacks. I brought here. snacks this time, but... <laughs> you did? I've been bringing snacks from home now. I'm so Look, proud I've of you. I've been so good here. I eat keto here, and then I go home. And Easter can be. And Easter lunch and all the things. And I'm going to throw these away next year. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it says yes, erythritol is good for is mm. good for okay for keto. Um, yeah, it's plant plant based. Good. I'm like a like I don't really truly like love to read. I'm not a huge reader, but I love to read books about food. Yeah, <laughs> and like this, I love science, like food mm -hmm. science and stuff. I think it's so interesting. I'm like, 
I've read a ton of like vegan books and keto books and how it works on your body. And mm -hmm. it's like that stuff truly interests me. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about on the business member page or on the business in your business membership thing on in Wednesday, mm -hmm. what is something you always talk about uh -huh. that you would be returned for? Right. Mine would be fashion and food. Fashion and food. <laughs> Which is this show, so <laughs> yeah. plus crafting, which is one of the things I would talk about. Yeah, so. Yeah, one of the things I asked the business members on Wednesday, their homework this week, is to um, think about if you were kidnapped, what would you be returned for talking too much about? And, and sh tell them why you gave us that homework, though. What does that help us figure out? It helps you figure out who, like, what your actual passion is and if you should be in the business that you're in. Just like what we were talking about, like running a business can be lonely sometimes. It is. And if you're not doing what you love, you're gonna burn out and it's gonna suck. It really does. Because as much as like all of you guys are here watching, we we, we were laughing earlier because you come to the realization, it's truly just two people sitting in a room by yeah. themselves or like when you're live or I'm live, I'm literally by myself, you're by yourself. Yep. You're not truly, like, with everybody in nope. person. So it's so different. You're alone. Yep. It's crazy. And we don't, I don't know, you don't really think of it like that, but it's true. Right. A lot, after I've been to many, many conventions with other creators and YouTubers and all that, so many of us are introverted. Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy because we are, we, we picked a career where we can literally do stuff where nobody has to be involved or around. That's crazy. And it's such a fun, because a lot of introverts are very outgoing. And so you can be outgoing without being around anybody. But then when you actually get around people, it can be overwhelming because you're an introvert. That's true. Yeah. So there's, like, I've met Jenna Marbles. She's super introverted. Do you know who that is? Yes. She, yeah. like, does funny skits. Yeah, she used to. She yeah. kind of canceled herself, even though we all wanted her to stay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, everybody else can be canceled. I'll cancel myself just to spare you guys. And we were like, no, we love you now. Aww. So, but, no, she's super introverted. There's... Um, there's definitely a lot of people that you'd be like, wow, I thought you would be more. And then there are some who you're just like, wow, you're really that outgoing. You're really just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I have my days. I feel like I'm very outgoing and like extroverted. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like you're me. so outgoing and extroverted. Do you? Yeah. I feel like I am too. If I had to pick one, it would be an extrovert. You are like... Like, to see you have a bad day, I was like, what? If Tony's <laughs> having a bad day, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because I know you have bad days, but, like, you're genuinely just, like, a happy person. I am. I feel like I have a lot of things to be thankful for. Yeah. And um, it hasn't always been this way. So, um, I don't know. I just feel like we've all already lived through our, like, worst days ever, right? So, it's like, if we can do that, we can just keep on going and, like, I just feel like there's so many things to be happy about, and I try to focus on the positive, but sometimes people get irritated with me because I'm always, like, oh, like, so optimistic, and, like, let's be, let's try to figure out a way, like, my boyfriend sometimes, <clears throat> he'll have a hard time, and I just try to, like, show him, like, the positive. Right. But not everyone's like that. He's so, like, a realist, and I'm such a dreamer and, an, like, an imaginative person. Wait, how do you say that? Imaginative. Imaginative. Imaginative person. Yeah. Yeah, so. I And I feel like that's so good for you guys to balance each other out because there's such a healthy, like there's a healthy pessimistic side of people and then there should be a healthy optimistic side. Mm -hmm. If you lean on one side too much, it can be like uh, unhealthy optimists like get themselves in a lot of trouble because yes. they don't, uh, like they think nothing can go wrong. I like then that sometimes. The pessimists just stay completely frozen because mm -hmm. they're too afraid to fail. So there is a healthy medium, and I think when you balance out in a relationship, that's awesome. Yeah, it really works. But being an optimist, because I'm an optimist for sure, uh, it can be draining because yeah. you're constantly trying to cheer people up. Mm -hmm. So finding other optimists is so good. Like, it really is so good. Like, you energize me so much mm. that I don't have to be like, come on, buck up. Right. little doggy like that's that gets really tiring it after does. a while and being a natural optimist like 
you attract pessimists actually because they want to feed off your energy not just that but you do cheer them up like That's there's true. so many times when we will cheer a pessimist up that they come to you to be cheered up and there's times when you're like I'm kind of exhausted. I don't have any cheering up in me, you know? Mm -hmm. So That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. I do, though. I'm like, I don't know. That's good. I'm glad I gave you energy because I know this is your Friday. So I, I, I felt bad at first. I was like, I feel bad because it's her Friday and she probably wants to go home. But... No, I look forward to this. And I wouldn't have said yes if I wasn't, like, if it wasn't something I looked forward to. Good. And it's my Friday. It's not my Saturday. That's true. <laughs> like, That's true. You still got to work. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you've given me, like, really chill mornings on Thursdays because now I kind of get my stuff done at home in the morning and then I get here a little later and then I can stay here later, which this Good. is really my happy place. Like, this is where I really want to be. But I was just telling Tania I love coming here. I don't know if she's giving you guys a little studio tour. It's not quite done yet, but I'm so excited for her, too, because... I work from home. I homeschool from home. I work from home. I do everything from home. So sometimes my home feels like a prison. I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys can relate. Mm -hmm. So getting out and on Thursdays, I know I get to come down here, which is like 45 minutes away. I get to get dressed up. I get to hang out with another woman. Right. Not an eight-year-old or nine-year-old. Yes. However old any of your guys' kids are. It's <laughs> so nice. I like look forward to it so much. Yeah. And then I'm being put out of my comfort zone. Like this is not what I do. Right. <laughs> so it's fun. I love challenging myself and pushing myself. So. Right. And yeah. I feel like I'm the opposite. I'm like, I'm making her craft and she doesn't have to, but you're all about it. So I'm like, I love it. Good. I think it's so fun. I'm glad. I absolutely love it. It worked out because we're all, we were all trying to get our high school pastor on board with this show, but it was going to be his own show. We were going to call it Blake Tries because is yeah it would just be very entertaining but <laughs> when you came up I was like well that'll probably be actually more beneficial to have somebody who could actually get the craft finished yes I love it see it just worked out right I still want like tries to be a show on my channel though is he just day. like not good at things he's good at things but he would not be very good at crafting that's funny he's not fearless to try things but he would probably not <laughs> Now, is this, so this is a pastor at your church that, like, works alongside your husband? Yes, but he's our high school pastor, and I'm a high school leader, and so is oh. J-Dog. So, we're with him a lot, and we're always like, you need to come to the studio and be on the YouTube channel because you're a crack-up. So, That's we'll get him on here one day. He I is. love, it's, like, so fun to watch other people fail sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a Disney fan, so I'm like, you fit the mark, you're fun, you're energized, you won't make crafts very good, but... The girls will love you. Right. Laughing so hard. Somehow I was quite a few minutes behind you. My comments were not in sync. <laughs> <laughs> I hate love when that happens. Tammy loves hanging out with us. Aww. Hey, girls. I'm just joining. Do you know when you will get more of the mixed bling in the colors that are sold out? Um, yeah, we're restocking anything that's sold out right now. So those should be back in stock soon. Are a lot of you guys who are watching, like, do you guys bling a lot? Like, are you bling, blingers? I'm getting them to be, the ones who are, are, they're locked in. But a lot of people haven't even purchased bling because they're like, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what color to start with. And I would literally, if it were me and I had to choose, I would literally start with, like, something yes. iridescent. So you can bling whatever you wanted to bling, like the naked or this, what is this, ice queen? We don't have that color, but oh. you're right. That's the this because, is our staple color right here. Yes, that, that we I always suggest. Yeah, because you guys can bling anything, any color. You're not locked in, and yeah. it will pick up anything. So if you haven't started and want to, that's what I would suggest for sure. See, you know your stuff. I know colors just because I, I love, you know. Yeah, the fashion world and the crafting world. It's all art. I know. All I would art. love, I think it would be so fun if I had the time one day to create my own clothes. <laughs> Rock says just get them all. Yeah, exactly. I concur, Rox. Here I am. I'm so practical. I'm like, just start with the naked first. <laughs> no, that's what I say too. I'm always like, just start with the basics and then when you decide. But it is fun to have all the colors. Yeah, but you can, you, yeah. Here I am. I'm like, you could slowly work your way up. No, you could because it's not the cheapest hobby. 
But if you're a seller of things, I totally ruined part of it, but the glitter will, maybe I, I can find this in a mix. Ooh. Oh, I do. I have Jane and Mix right here. I can fill in my gaps. I love, I honestly love the mixes because I love having the tiny, tiny little pieces in here yep. to fill in the holes, you guys. If you could get a mix, I highly recommend because they fit in all your little blank spots that you didn't Tetris out perfectly. Right. Our mixes looks, are our number one. People love the mixes. This looks so good, you guys. I can't, I'm like so impressed with my own self right Wait now. Wait till you see it in the sun or in a fluorescent light. Like when you take it into the studio, it's so blingy. Do you guys want to see? It looks really good. You're a good blinger. You gonna hire me as an influencer? No, if, if okay. you want to bling, <laughs> I don't want to bling. <laughs> hire you as an influencer. Uh, I'm horrible at picking things. I'll pick what or two or three things, and then say I'm only going to buy one, and end up buying all of them. <laughs> right. That's okay, girl. Phones, pop sockets, shoes, shirts. Yeah, I love doing small projects like pop Ooh, sockets. Yeah. yeah, that would be fun. I feel like this is like a great beginner project yes. too, and it just. We all carry a cup to drink, so, it, yep. you know, people could be like, oh, my God. I always say, you are your own billboard. Like, whatever you're doing, I don't care if you're crafting or doing fashion. Like, you wear it or you take it around. If you craft cups, you better be drinking water everywhere you go and holding your cup so people can be like, oh, my goodness, I love that. And you could be like, I make it. Here is my card. Yeah. My number one business tip. I did that the other day in a coffee shop, and now we're going to do, like, a local pop-up together all because I was wearing my shirt. That's so awesome. It's so just, like... <laughs> women love if and if you compliment people too and then just start a conversation and it's organic like you just never know who you're gonna meet so having a pretty self-explanatory business is perfect like do that if you so i was wearing the ice it doesn't work out like that for me. So like, <laughs> that's here i was wearing the the apple shirt uh -huh. and that's why i was like i need more of these and i went to my nail place and this lady's like i love your shirt it's so cute and i'm like Thanks, I made it. And I never say, like, when I'm wearing something I made. But then I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Because nobody wants to hear you go, yeah, it's called sublimation. Have you ever heard of it? You need paper and you need tape and you need a heat pad. You need these perfectly, like, polyester shirts. Instead, I, like, gauge the situation. And if I know somebody is, like, a crafter and they are into it, then I'll be like, oh, yeah, check out my channel. But other than that, I'm like, don't go looking at my channel if you don't you craft. You don't? Never. Really? It's pointless. Like, I, the cringiest thing to me is when, like, somebody I know who crafts not at all is like, I watched your live yesterday. I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It, even if they don't craft, it could just be pure entertainment or they just love watching it or... I guess. I think that you should. No, I do. No, I do. But like... like Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Check it out. This is sublimation printing. It's so cool. What if you just like convert this lady into this like that's, sub master? That's what the algorithm is for. <laughs> that's what the search engine. They, they're searching the terms. They'll find me. That's so But funny. it is to the point now where it like... Friends will text me and be like, oh my gosh, I was looking at bullet journal tutorials and you popped up first. And I'm like, well, yeah, because that's what I do. Like, and then when my friends are like, I bought a cricket, I'm like, don't Google anything. Just come to my house now. Like, don't that is look up so anything. Funny. So. Well, it is kind of weird because, you know, the big wide web and then maybe they had no idea you did that. And all of a sudden they get into something and you pop up. It'd probably just be so surreal for them. Like, oh my God, is that Tania? And I kept it on the deal for a long time. And... Not with my friends, but, like, okay, once people know you can, like, make things, they expect you to, like, make things for everything. <laughs> and we were at um, our softball, like, I don't know. We were at some softball thing. And one of the moms, we had been on the softball team for, like, three years. And one of the moms was like, I know a secret. And I was like, what? And she was like, <laughs> I know what you do for a living. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like... I was looking up how to make lanyards for the tournament, and guess who I got to see on the internet? And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, I do that. That's the, the, I do that. <laughs> That's so, so funny. For a long time, like, people just didn't understand it, and I had to explain it, and, like, there'd be certain people who would ask really annoying questions with it and be like, 
like I, I get the same question over and over. So you make money from the ads, right? And I'm like, yeah, I do. That's all we're gonna talk about. Like, I don't wanna talk about like how you make money as an influencer unless, I don't know, it's just, it's, you'd be surprised. I get that question like. Oh, I'm sure. So much. Because not many people know someone who truly makes money off of YouTube. Like, I have a YouTube and I have 23 followers. I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. All my videos are <laughs> so random. Yeah. And it's just like people like that do it for a hobby or get paid for it. And everyone wants to know like, well, how do you make the money? Right. And I used to explain it, but now I feel like it's getting more like people will be like, oh, I have a friend who does that. And they'll be like, oh yeah, I follow this channel. So a lot of people follow enough people now on YouTube to kind of get an idea of how it mm -hmm. works. So there's not so much that question anymore, but like it just got really annoying because it was like, I work a lot mm -hmm. and people would just think I was doing it for a hobby. Right. And they'd be like, do you even make money doing that? And you're like, Actually, I do quite well for myself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, moving on, we don't need to talk about that anymore. So, and yeah, so it's just, and I'm in one of the only professions where that's okay. Like, if you were to go to your, like. My boutique? Well, like, obviously, like, I know you make money with your boutique, but I'm not going to be like, do you even make money doing this? That's true. And then I wouldn't be like how much do you make? How do you make money? You know, That's they just, true. they feel like it's all needs to be out there for everyone because they're so curious. And so mm. it's, and I genuinely get it, but like, I don't know. It's just, it, it's a weird world to be in. That makes sense. You're like, we don't talk about this with everybody else. Like you kind of know, like the standard salaries for certain businesses. But right. I don't know. No, that makes sense. I didn't think of it like that. It's just a weird, it's a, it's a weird world to be in. Um, I will not do live tutorials on Silhouette Studio. I don't, I don't, wait, she said, I bought a Silhouette Studio program to work with my Cricut. Will you do live tutorials? I won't do live ones, but I have tutorials on there to help you. Um, I am kind of finished with my lid, but the bling was having issues in some spots. And now I want to just press it on here really good. Because I'm going to glitter it. I do like that we get to fill it in with glitter because I, I don't want these little empty spaces. Yeah, it makes all the difference uh. with the really fine glitter. No, you, I'm so lost on the comments. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We just get into it over here. I know. Need iron on bling. Right. Hot fix bling. That is something I need to launch eventually. Hot fix bling. It has glue on the back of it, so when you heat it up, it can go on to, like, fabric. Oh. Ooh. Yes. I could I mean, bling out some of my things. Yeah, you can. I really wanted to get some really fun rocker tees, and I love a good off-the-shoulder, but a lot of people make, like, you know, crew neck tees. I want to cut the tops off of the things and make them like off the shoulder. You guys have seen me, if you follow my boutique, you guys have seen me wearing some tie dye ones. Cute. But I wanna ask you how to do something with them cause I don't know how to do it to like make them look a little bit more profesh cause they look like someone straight up just cut it. And I want it to, I wanna make it do them with like a cute rocker tee. Yeah, are you, what's the fabric? Is it stretchy a little bit? No, it's like a, uh, like a cotton. But it if just- If you stretch it a little bit, like does it roll yes. a little bit? So. That's all I would say is just like kind of give it a good stretch afterwards. That's what I did and it looks fine, but may, I'll have to show you what I made. Maybe okay. I'll wear it one day. I love wearing them to work out. And then I really, I learned how to like amazingly like distress a t-shirt. Like there is a certain way to distress a t-shirt. Like not all distressing looks the same and I figured it out. Did you? And I really, 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 really want to make some shirts. I feel like you're more craftier than you think, girl. I think I am too, but <laughs> I just feel like... I guess I just don't take the time. I feel like there's other things I could be doing. Right. Because I don't I don't make money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I probably could. We definitely have a family of entrepreneurs, that's for sure. We do. Me, you, and Brittany. Yeah. All own our own businesses. Right. And I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I love being my own boss. It is the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's the most rewarding. Like, I can't believe I get to, you know, do stuff like this for work. Right? And you get to take it wherever you want. My favorite quote, were you there on Wednesday when she said this, was from Margie. Uh, oh, yes. She said, 
find what you love and design your world around it. Mm -hmm. And I just, I wrote it down. I was like, I'm going to quote you, girl, like all the time because that is so good. That is so That's why good. I have behind my office desk upstairs is the quote that we can live in a world that we design because it is. It's like, stop thinking like the world has to look the way that society says it has to look. Like it doesn't, I mean, obviously you have to conform to some stuff, but right. Like, you can break the mold a little bit and do what you want to do. And this is the day and age where you can do anything, make any kind of business, because just, like, technology and the whole women supporting women and wanting yeah. to share and shop small and local, it's so in, just empowering. And when you find the girls or the people that you're supposed to have on your team or your tribe, it's so beautiful. Right? So you can see how fast using SS20 goes. So if you're like me and you're just lazy. That looks good though. Once you fill it in with the glitter, it's yeah. like so good. Yeah. That's the glitter helps. But I don't have a good glitter color that matches this. I definitely think I need to launch a when if if glitter comes back, I need to have a peachy color glitter. Ooh. I don't think I have one and that's like my favorite color right now. Well peaches for spring, peaches and mints. Mints are really in. Mint. I know. Well, that's my wall. Mint, yeah. blue, coral, and peach. Mint is where it's. I love mint. I love coral too, but I'm a mint girl. Mint. Dude, I love just spring colors. I love a soft pastel. They're beautiful. Like this color. Do you want me to bling this later and then we can do the... The koozie? Yeah, let's... I want to know how to make it's the It's already 520. Oh, okay. You want to know how to make these? No, we can wait. We can do it. We can do it like part two. Yeah. Okay. Which I didn't know. We will be there. here next. It, I know. We it, time flies when we're just hanging out. It does. Um, we won't be here next Thursday though. Oh yeah, we're gonna be in Disney. Yeah. You guys have to follow our adventures on the gram. Yeah, Instagram stories will be where it's at. Uh, we got some fun stuff happening. Yeah, we're photographing all of our blanks and doing it Disney, and she's styling all the blanks. I'm so excited. If you guys are into. And I'm DIYing a bunch of really cute accessories. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be having to craft a lot next week. Perfect. It's gonna be fun. If you need help, let me know. I will. Well, Actually, don't let me know because I'll be doing all the styling stuff. Right. We both have our own job in the mix, but it'll be fun. You guys will definitely wanna follow our Instagram stories. Do you guys have any, really quick before we leave, any recommendations on like where to take pictures in the Disney part? We're going to California Adventure, right? Yeah. Can we go into Disney or no. just go ahead? We're going to be in California Adventure. Do you guys have like a spot that is like your secret spot that you want to share with us or a land that you love or somewhere to take like amazing photographs? There's a place you got to go. I'm the one you need to know. <laughs> I'm the map. <laughs> That's there's, hella funny. There's a TikTok. I think, I don't know if I shared it publicly. Uh, I think I did share it in my I story. I think you did because I yes. saw something like but that. But it's like a girl who's like, if you go to Disneyland with me and someone tries to grab a map, you're like... I'm the map, I'm the map. Yeah, so. Because I'm going to have no idea where we're going, which land, anything. And Tania's like, I know, I got it. I got you, girl. <laughs> and I'm like, you're the map. It's really, yeah, California Adventure is pretty self-explanatory. There's like three directions you can go. I'm, I have, I've only been there once years ago and I can't remember, so I'm so excited. Yeah. And it's Pixar Pier now, so we're doing a lot of Pixar stuff. Which I'm for, here for because me and Emmy have been diving deep into the Pixar on Disney+. Plus. Good. She's like, I want to know everything when we go model. Oh, she's going to love it. She's going to have so much fun. Yeah. Today's Disney Sherpa. Yep. Any photo spots? Um, I don't see. Uh, GoPro for Disney and take Ooh. us along. GoPro. I don't have a GoPro. I mean, I do, but I don't ever like to play with it. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I don't like it. I've always wanted one because my kids just run around with them and take so much footage that we never look at it because we're like, well, we don't want to watch the entire trip. That's true. <laughs> like, Give it to Tyler, right? Just and be like, make here, him, make something out of yeah, this. Yeah, make something really cool. It's still sitting. Dustin for one second wanted to be vlog a vlog family, and I was like, <laughs> no. First of all, we're not doing that. <laughs> No, we've seen what happens to vlogger families. They fall apart and they get picked apart by everybody. Do they? Yeah. Aww. And it's not good for psychologically for your children and all things to put them on the internet. Interesting. Growing up. There's lots of reasons, but I don't want to do it. But he, for one 
moment of his life was like, we should be vloggers. And I was like, yeah, no, no. And then he took GoPros uh -huh. to our trip to Cancun. Uh -huh. The last time we went to Cancun. And just filmed everything. He literally had the GoPro on every, <laughs> every drive. You're like, are you kidding me? And I was like, you don't even know how much footage you have until you get home and you try to do this and you crash the entire computer because you have like 800 gigabytes. And for sure, he like, he went to go edit it and he's like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, <laughs> yeah, because you can't just film everything and expect I guess to... that makes sense. Yeah. I didn't even think about that because I would do what Dustin did and just film everything and then you're just like... <sighs> How do I break this up into tiny pieces that we can even yeah comprehend? Yeah, it's it, there's a science to it. Some people would do it well and can do it okay and and have the space for it, but it's like, dude, you're going back to work when we get home. You're not gonna be editing a vlog, right? He's like, hey, my dream has died, right? All right, so okay, I'll show you this, but um, I will keep working on it. Oh God, my leg <laughs> stuck to the chair, you guys. <laughs> Oh, I felt the rip. Oh, that's one reason I hate shorts. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. It it's looks coming so along. good. You are good. Can't wait. You need to, it's so hard to capture how blingy it is. When, I'll take you out in the sun and you'll see. I'll tag Tania in a cute picture and show you guys the finish. Yeah. The finish lid. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya Bye. in two weeks for this show. But follow our stories. Yes. Bye. I'm so excited. Bye, guys.